Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, let's dissect this latest charade, shall we? According to reports from Oak Magazine, Prince Harry has supposedly come to the realization that there is no plan B other than mending fences with King Charles and the rest of the royal family. Oh, how convenient that he suddenly sees the light after years of hurling insults and swipes at his own flesh and blood. It's laughable, really, to think that Harry now wants to put an end to the feud and regrets the way things have turned out. Where was this remorse when he and Meghan were busy trampling over royal protocol, airing their dirty laundry to the world, and cashing in on their royal titles while simultaneously badmouthing the very institution that bestowed those titles upon them? Let's not forget Harry's recent whistle-stop tour of the UK, where he graced his ill father with a mere 45 minutes of his precious time before jetting off back to the comforts of California. Oh, how noble of him to grace his father with such a fleeting visit during his time of need. But wait, it gets better. Despite his apparent change of heart, Harry couldn't even be bothered to meet up with his own brother, Prince William, while he was in town. Family first, they say. Not in Harry's world, it seems. And now, after his pitiful attempt at reconciliation has fallen flat, Harry is safely back in the US, rubbing shoulders with the glitterati at events like the NFL Honors in Las Vegas. How convenient that he can retreat to the arms of Hollywood glamour whenever things get a little too uncomfortable in the real world. But let's not be fooled by Harry's sudden epiphany. His actions speak louder than his hollow words, and it's clear that his main priority is not repairing relationships with his family, but rather salvaging his own tarnished image. Royal commentator Jenny Bond hits the nail on the head when she suggests that recent events around the King's health may have sparked Harry's sudden change of heart. But let's not kid ourselves. This is not a fairy tale reunion in the making. These are complex family relationships that cannot be fixed with a simple apology or a token gesture. In conclusion, my dear viewers, the saga of Harry and Meghan continues to unfold, revealing the depths of their deception and the extent of their selfishness. Banished from the UK forever, they are now nothing more than mere footnotes in the annals of royal history. And as for Harry's grand plan B, well, it serves him right to be cast out from the very family he once claimed to cherish. Get lost and never show your face again, Meghan's lapdog. The House of Windsor will not mourn your absence. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.